good evening everybody and welcome to the youth fully show my name is Sibian collins and i am very very excited to have you guys join me this evening it is in earnest a 20th episode and this feels like a milestone for all of us at the youth school because we know um how we started in fact where we started feels like yesterday right we can still remember how we started and then the first video we did so um i just want to say thank you for joining us um this evening and what we're going to be learning is really packed it's really packed so i know you if you've seen the flyer you're probably wondering um where the guest is and you know when he'll be joining us so we tried to work out on modalities um right before we came live we tried to work out some modalities for network is really affecting us network is really affecting is is um this network is not really really okay and we've been trying to reach out for some time now so but when he is online again we'll add him straight up to the live stream and then you get to see mr samuel i know he's is uh he's really pumped up for the evening and he can't wait to share his thoughts with us on this particular topic it is something that i believe is is of utmost importance to all youths all over you know africa right now you know, sales, money making opportunities, every youth should seize. So, uh, the idea behind this topic is the fact, it's not the fact that we are not hardworking enough to, you know, work, but the idea is that you have these skills. What are those opportunities that you could take, take you know, take, take advantage of opportunities that you wouldn't have either to, you know, known opportunities that are everywhere? Somebody said, um, once you've spotted a problem, right, then you have a business. Once you've spotted a problem, then you can get a business out of it. In fact, the, the, the way you basically put it is there is um, a gift wrapped up in every problem. There is a gift wrapped up in every problem. So we're going to be helping you find those opportunities um, this evening. We're going to be sharing our thoughts on this. And, I, and questions are welcome. Questions are welcome. I'm still trying to check if Mr. Samuel is... Is with us. Questions are welcome. Your opinions and your thoughts are welcome. So, um, while we wait uh, for Mr. Samuel to join us, you can quickly invite your friends, invite everybody who you think should be here, and um, tell them it's happening right here on Abiding TV, the youth Spooly show. It's happening right here. Salient money making opportunities every youth should seize. Okay, so um, someone is trying to use another device right now, and he'll be with us shortly. Okay, so if um, if you want if you want um, intel on what's going to be happening, I wish I could give you. Uh, okay, so basically, basically speaking, um, this topic. Let me give you a brief a brief on why we chose this topic this evening. So one of those times, usually before we we set out. I'm doing um, live streams, we send out um, uh, forms for people to fill. And I think forms or you know, surveys, yeah, surveys. And we ask people the topics they want us to treat on this show. And you know, we get to hear the suggestions of the people. And this one was actually suggested some time ago. Uh, everybody wants to make money. That is just the truth. Everybody wants to make money. At least if if you're not making 600 k, you should be at least making 60 k. Edwin uh, was said, never be in a spot or a position where you you're unable to earn. In a position where there is nothing in your account. I know I thought about it recently. If, if there's an emergency and you need to, you know dispense with 20k immediately do you have that in your account or if there's an emergency and you need to do something and it requires you to you know give up 50k do you have that amount so don't be in a position where you're unable to end and the way this, the, the opportunities will be discussing this evening they are kind of um that they're like side hustle something something you can be doing as you're doing your main work right excuse me Something you can be doing as you're doing and as you're going to work, something you can just be doing to bring in extra cash. It's like an extra stream of income. So that's just how we came about this. So it was actually suggested by um, one of our ardent followers. So welcome once again. Welcome once again. Welcome once again. 
I can see everybody. I can see some people joining in. Uh, so if you're here in the house, you can just drop a comment. You can say hi. I'm going to see you. You can say hi. You can say hi. I'm going to see you and uh, recognize. I can see some people joining in already. Okay, Salient's money making opportunities every youth should seize. If you are if you're somebody who has been in the online space um, this year, you would have observed that there are three keywords that are basically um, rampant, three keywords that are um, are everywhere, three keywords. Almost everybody's talking about it. Everybody online, you know, they're talking about it. Everything that everybody does is basically to, you know, ensure that these three keywords are like a reality in their lives. The three keywords are influence, impact, and income. Influence, impact, and income. Influence, impact, and income. Don't worry, the likes to be restored shortly. Yeah. So the basic, the basic three things that have been talked about: influence, impact, and income. Uh, these are the three key words that have been, uh, you know, talked about mostly in um, in the online space this year. Everybody wants to, you know, get influence, build influence, you know, make an impact wherever they go, and also, you know, get income. Those are the three key words. But there is something about these three key words that is not really readily always um, discussed, and that's what we'll also be talking about today. I think I can see the sound in the building, so I'm going to add them straight away. Welcome, Mr. Samuel. Yeah, welcome, sir. Good evening, sir. Welcome to the show. We are live. We are live. I'm so sorry. Let's walk, you know, uh, try to mess up with you. It, it, it looks better, though. It looks sharper. It looks yeah. Sharper. yeah. I'm using a different device now. Oh, ah, amazing. Amazing. So um, I'm just going to briefly read out Mr. Samuel's um, profile bio so you can know a little about him and from there we're going to start i am so excited i'm already pumped up for this evening and i know you're ready to you know send us the value you prepared all right so who is mr Sauer? Mr. Sauer is a graduate of computer engineering from the university of Benin. he is the ceo of samotech enterprise a solar inverter company in nigeria he's a team coach counselor and writer with a passion for young people and also a mentor to several young people. Lord, the ministry, ministry to deny the world from social vices and misconceptions. He is the author of True Love and Mist Lost and Divine Navigator. I love those book titles. I love those book titles. Welcome, welcome on board, sir. Yeah, thank you, sir. So, so uh, before before we go on with the topic, uh, let, let's talk about let's talk about uh, your two books. Two books have right. been launched. How how was the feeling like the, the the day before the launch and the night after the launch? How did you feel? The yeah, day it was it was wonderful. It was wonderful. The day before the launch, the tense was the tension was there. The you understand that kind of how will it go? How will it look like? How will yeah. it be around? How will it go? It was, it was there, but I after the the day after the launch, yeah, the night. I was just giving thanks to God because it went wonderfully well. Yeah, I can, I can well. totally confirm <laughs> because I, I recently launched and you were, you were there. I mean, that's how we. Yeah. It was, it was incredible the feeling. The day before, I had a deck. I had a deck day before, <laughs> and the night before, I felt so relieved. I, I felt so relieved. So, congratulations again on your book launch, guys. Love yes, and, and Divine Navigator are powerful books that will transform your thinking. They would really impact your life. In fact, okay, before the end of the show, we we'll also we'll, my display this so you can you know, see them. But uh, that aside, now, this topic, excellence, money making opportunities, every youth should be. You know, the most pressing thing now for Nigeria, in fact, it is encapsulated in one word. Hustle, that's just the meaning in Nigeria as we speak. Every youth wants to make it. 
the online, offline, we just want to be the next big thing. So if you're on Facebook, you want your post to gather as much as 5,000 likes. If you're offline, you want to organize an event and then you see 10,000 people. Everybody just wants to be the next big thing. But now the issue is from where we are, right? Where we are, it's just like a long shot. So the only place where we have that perfect view of ourselves as being top notch has been classes and it's in our head in our fantasy so we see ourselves you know, becoming kings and everything but in reality we are you know struggling to drink gary and stuff so the next <laughs> very, very yeah. true yes yeah, back so again we want to talk about most times we discover that it's not even about the fact that people don't have skills which is that there, there are these skills but they don't know but they're not able to you know uh, spot the opportunities are readily available they can see so that's what we want to talk about this evening what are your thoughts on this sir? all right thank you very much mr collins yeah um opportunities are everywhere that is one thing you have to understand opportunities are everywhere every day around us opportunities are there you don't you just need to have that foresight and insight to be able to key into one that's aligned with our with what we have and provide solution the making wealth is not just, it's, it's actually very simple. It's about discovering a challenge and bringing change to, this, to that challenge. That is the secret to making wealth. Discover a challenge. What is the problem? What is it that people, are, people want? And try yeah. to provide it. And when you do that, I'm telling you, you will get income. That is yeah. just the simple formula. Yeah, I, I, now I'll be talking about that, you know, discovering challenges and problems when, when I'll be discussing. Uh, something in particular uh, topic a bit um yes subheading during during part of the show but moving forward moving forward you know um you were telling me that um i don't know if i should share this with the public but that your book has brought you over 300k that is amazing now I, when i started the show i said i like three key words that are basically very rampant in the online space this year there is influence, impact, and income. If, ever, if you don't want it, at least you're, you're trying to build one. So the goal of the, the post we make, the content we create it together, you know, to build influence, make people know that we bring attention to ourselves, you know, that kind of thing. But now there is another word. People tend to, you know, want these three things to happen instantly. But we know that influence, impact, and income is not instant. So we want to talk about we we'll talk about that, you know, how how important is the virtue patient? How important is that virtue patient as far as, you know, um, taking out the you know, opportunities and then trying to make myself uh, and, Okay, yeah, that's, I once remember a story I was told then. So when we were young, we planted, so we planted um, an orange tree. We planted an orange. Let me use corn, for example. We planted corn. The next day, we we'll go and shake. It does not grow. The next day, we'll go and shake it. We'll pull it out. Plant it again. Uh, yeah. Looking at it, why is it not growing? I will pull it out again. You have to see the roots. Why is it not growing? So that is so that is how life is. We have to be yeah. patient. We have to be patient. This thing is not interesting. It's not instantaneous. Even I made a post recently. I said, um, every great thing starts small. Mm-hmm. Every great thing starts small. Even Jesus Christ started as a baby in the manger. You get that? It not just come and take, um, start not with the savior. No, it started from a baby. It kept on growing, growing till it became the savior of the world. So that is it. Impact, influence, and income—they don't come at once. They come gradually. Just need to yeah. just uh, keep allow it grow, In, yeah. uh, fan it, give it what it to make it grow, feed it, and you see that yeah. at the long run, it will grow. So patience yeah. is a key. If you just keep jumping from year to year, you can't. You won't make it like that. Stay with something, stay with your passion, stay with your 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 desires and feed it and you see that it will grow. Give it time. Time is a factor that cannot that is indispensable in growth. Time. When you give it time, you see that with time it will grow. So that is yeah. I think that's what I'll say concerning that. The word man wants that if you go up without growing up, you will come down. If you go up yeah. without growing up, you will come down. So never forget that impact and income is not in time. Right. So uh, for in five straight minutes, I'm going to give Mr. Samuel the floor to, you know, unpack his thoughts on this topic. Then immediately after that, we're going to take questions and answers. And then I'll also comment to add a few you know, things here and there. 
right now we have you know taken like 15 minutes on the show already so i'll give him 25 minutes you know to take it away and blow our minds so that's all of this intelligence all right the floor is yours. all right thank you very much uh, good evening everyone listening i'm so happy to be with you this evening all right so um the topic before me is salient money making opportunity every youth you see salient money making opportunity every youth you see now then before i start i want us to understand that life is not just about making money it's but about making meaning yeah life is not about making money but about making money we most youth make, often make that mistake i want to make it in fact they are just pushing this i must make this money but no life is not just about making the money you are sent for a purpose every woman was created by god to be an influence on health an influence so he said earlier i said influence impact then income that is it once there is influence and there is impact once you are making influence and you're making an impact you make income so money is simply the outcome of value money is the outcome of value when you are impacting and influencing your generation positively money will come naturally that is the secret to wealth once you are impacting and influencing your generation positively money will come naturally so it's just this stop chasing after money give value solve problems and money will start coming to you so seek to be a person of value not just making the money seek to be a person of value your income can grow to the extent you do yeah but keep developing yourself make yourself more valuable because your growth mentally capacity wise determines your growth income wise yeah as you can see money is a result Wealth is a result. In fact, illness is a result. Health is a result. Your weight is a result. So we live in a world of cause and effect. You have a unique gift, and your gift will make room for you. You see that in Proverbs 18, verse 16. It says that a gift of a man make it room for him. There is something God has put in you. God didn't just send you to this world to struggle in life. No. God has made provisions for all you, all you need have been provided for before, even, before, before you were born. The Lord told Jeremiah, I said, before you were conceived in your mother's womb, I knew thee, I've ordained thee a prophet. So before you came to this earth, everything you need to succeed has been provided. It's in you. You just need to sit down, bring it out. There is a gift in you, and that gift will make a room for you. All right. Before I move on, let me just please share my story briefly. It was 2010. That was when I would say my life started. Yeah. 2010, that was when my life started. Before that time, I was just living in mirage. I was not sure of anything. I don't know what's happening next. Just living life. But it dawned on me that I can't just continue like this. I was struggling then to, just, to even live a life pleasing to God. But 2010, 24th of September, that was when I encountered the Lord Jesus Christ. And that's the beginning of my life. It was as if a new page was opened and my book was like, my book was opened and I started. 2012, I was in secondary school then, I was in SS1. Yeah, so not 12, I was in SS1. So one evening, I just went into my classroom then. I brought out my book. I was just thinking, how can I impact my generation? How can I influence my generation positively? Then the idea came, write a book. Wow. Write a book. Okay, no problem. I started writing 2012. 2015, I published my first book. That is The True Love and Miss Lost. And it was, in fact, it was wonderful. I launched it while I was under level in the university. Yeah. So that book was launched in the university. The, the, the visa of the university was one part of the launching. That, that's how it went. I just gave glory to God for that. So as I did that influence, I noticed that income was just coming. I was not struggling to, to get the money, but the money was coming. So I moved on. When I was in the university, I noticed that I... I'm st- I, because I studied computer engineering, as I said in my bio. So um, I was just interested in engineering, anything engineering. I love it. I wanted to do things, make things with my hands. I saw that I was interested in um, the electricity line, like the electric field. I started making electric bulbs. Then I was, when I was in 300 level, I was making um, lamps. As I was making lamps, people were buying and the income was coming. So that is it. I noticed that the gift to it is in me. It is not outside. It's not, I'm not trying to, I'm not struggling to find it. It was, it's just, I just have to sit down and bring it out. The gift is already there. So if you can bring that gift out, I'm telling you the income will come naturally. 
quickly before I, okay my time is okay the secret to lasting wealth let me just say that secret to lasting wealth number one discover your gifts there is something you can do there is a special gift that god has given to you you are loaded you are there is something in you god sent you to this world with something yeah you may look at yourself me just a young boy a young girl what can i do no you are loaded settle down and discover that gift number two after discovering your gift what do you do you need to refine that gift refine your gift now just discovering your gift is not enough okay good i'm a writer you're a singer you have discovered that yes i'm good at singing but you just left it there you're not developing yourself you are not building yourself you are not refining that gift it should not be dormant yeah there are many uh mice Moore said something he said the richest the richest place on earth is the mortuary but there are many gifts on use many music many books on written in the mortuary so those things are there discovering your gift is not enough refine it you need to refine it invest in yourself okay good i had interest for electronics and this is that that was my passion for electronics I took up some courses. I went to a training school then. I went for a solar inverter training. That was in 2018. I developed myself. I, I paid. Yeah, I paid for it. I paid to get the skill. Paid to develop yourself. Invest in yourself. Invest in yourself. Now, you become valuable when you are a specialist. It's a mistake many people make. Ah, in fact, I want to do everything. Jack of all trade. Yes, today you are into this business. Tomorrow, ah, they said this is, this is, what, this is what is moving. You move into that business. No. Seek to be a specialist in what you are doing. Spend time in it. That is where the patient comes in. Oh, maybe you are doing it. It's not working. Keep on investing in it. Seek to be the best in that your field. Oh, maybe you are into tailoring now, and you're like, it's not moving. Invest in tailoring. Spend time. Know everything about it. Be a specialist in it. And you see that with time, when you are a specialist, people will come seeking for you. So many people are seeking for a job. Oh, after school, the next thing is get my certificate, get a job, if I start working. Now, your gift is it's your work. Let me repeat that. Your gift is your work. There's a difference between your work and, your, and a job. You were sent with, to fulfill something. You were sent to accomplish something. God has put something in you. And that is your work. Jesus Christ said, said I must do the work of he that sent me while it is day. You were sent to do something, and God gave you all you need to do that. Um, that's your work. It's in you. What you need to do now is to get that gift, bring it out, sit down, refine it. That is when you begin to do your work. When you are jobbing, like when you are in a job, yeah, a job is wonderful. It's good. A job gives you an opportunity to, to refine yourself. Yeah, if you get a job, it's wonderful. Use that job to bring out the best in you. Refine yourself, but... My smart said something again. He said, Lives begin at 5 p.m. Life begin at 5 p.m. Yeah. You spend the whole day working for another person, but your real life begins when you come back from work, when you come back from your job, when you sit down, think of those things in you. What is your area of gifting? Okay, good. Another people that are me, I'm working for the government. In fact, the government work is wonderful. Yes, it is wonderful. But one day you retire, you can retire from your job but you can never retire from your work. I repeat that. You can retire from your job, but you can never retire from your work. Seek to do your work, not just your job. Seek to do your work, not just your job. Now, you get paid for the problem you solve, and now add, it is to find a replacement for you. I repeat that. You get paid for the problem you solve, and now add, is it to find a replacement for you. So make yourself valuable. Make yourself valuable. Make yourself indispensable. Your generation needs your gift and they will pay for it. I repeat that your generation needs your gift and they will pay for it. Your gift is your key to influence. Your gift is your key to influence. Refine your gift and bring it out. What is the law of income? You will be paid in direct proportion to the value you deliver. I repeat, you will be paid in direct proportion to the value you deliver. Yeah. Okay, quickly I want to just list out some opportunities because this is called salient opportunities, salient and money making opportunities for the youth. So we are all eager to know what can I do, what is it, just give us the opportunity. So I will list some of them to you. Now let's look at the word challenge. That is C H A L L E N G E. Yeah, I'm writing it down. Yeah, let's write that word down. 
if you bring out the first three letter C H A and the last three letter N G E, it is C H A N G E, and that is what a change. In every challenge, there is change. What you need to make well is to look for that change in that challenge, and you see that you will make well. Okay, next thing, let me just go straight to the opportunities I have for you. I have over 50 opportunities here that a youth can invest, can, um, can do and make profit from. So there are various business out there youth can make money from. You don't have to be an adult to start your own business. In fact, there are many different business opportunities that teens can use to get their entrepreneurial journey started. So yeah, I have over 50 business opportunities listed, but I'll just see how far my time can take me. All right, yeah, number one. I have here, um, okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Number one, I have here writing, writing, writing. This is a skill we youth can develop and make money from. Writing is a gift. You can refine that gift and make huge profit from it. As I said earlier, I'm a living testimony to that. Yeah, I've written two books now, and I can tell you that I've made over 300,000 from just writing. Yeah, from just those books. So don't just waste that gift. In you Maybe you, uh, you discover that you love writing. You write stories, but you just lock it up. You write, you write articles, you write... Develop that gift. Rush up those, your writing skill and bring out something to your generation. There is a book in you. Bring it out and you will make profit. Number two is doing business. Yeah, business. So many youth are out here. This is um, the COVID-19 period or just yeah, the, um, that the corona period. Many people are at home doing nothing. In fact, that was, a time, that was the time I wrote my second book, this corona period. Yeah, it was a time because it was an opportunity to me. I saw it as an opportunity. People were complaining, oh, why not? No school, no strike, everything was on. But I saw that as an opportunity. I went into my closet and I brought out Divine Navigator. So there are opportunities you can do. And the business are better in times like this. Yes. If you can just sit down, what is, assess yourself. What can you do? What is your skill? What is your area of skilling? What are you good at? So many youth are complaining of lack of money, no money, nothing to eat, no job. In fact, many graduates are roaming about the street, first class, masters, looking for a job. While you're looking for a job, why not sit down and think of what you can do? When I was a student in computer engineering, yeah, I had the mindset of wanting to be financially independent. From 100 level, I had that mindset. So in um, 300 level, I was able to get um i i'm sorry for that i was able to get a printing machine yeah, because my, my dad is into printing business so before coming to school i've been i have that skill already I, i'm good at it so i got a printing machine and i got that machine 20 that is for forty thousand naira. Forty thousand naira. i bought the machine and in the next nine months i've made over one twenty thousand naira from that machine just right there in my um, department I was getting materials. I saw that that's a challenge. People make photocopies, they print. So and with that, I was able to make income. So this is something you can do. You don't need to just think of what is that thing you are good at. That is a business opportunity already. So think business, think business. So after graduating from the university, I graduated 2019. I, 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 I got the mindset of a CEO, yeah. I decided to own my own company. Although I've been on it since... 2018, yeah, I've been on it, but when I finished from school, I I went for, I, even while I was in school, I went for training, I developed myself, this, I read materials, read articles on it, and did a lot of things, and presently, I'm running a company called Samotech Enterprise, that is a solar inverter company, so that is a think business, don't just wait for a job, there is something in you, bring it out, think business. Now, let me quickly list out some business opportunities for you. We have, um, number one, I have academic tutor. Maybe you are good, or you are in a certain subject. You can offer assistance to others that are lagging behind in that field. Help them, teach them, and by doing that, you make profit. Yeah, while I was on campus, I was teaching some of my colleagues on courses, and they paid for it, and I was making profit from it. So, what another one, I call it handmade shop owner. 
Maybe you have a gift, you have something you can do with your hands. While I was like, that was 2018, I was making touch lights. Yeah, because that was something I could do. And I was selling it and I was making profit. People were even calling, demanding for it. So that is it. You, maybe it's a gift you have. You can own it. You don't even need a shop to start. You don't need a shop. Just produce your product and take it out to the markets. And you see that once you're adding value, you are getting income. That is the secret to income. Once you're adding value, you are getting income. Number three, you have um, social media influencers. Yeah, people are making money from that. Those who are skilled in social media, instead of you going to social media, posting your pictures, laughing, no, people are making money from social media. You can build up a following, guys, and then work with brands as an influencer to promote various products and services, and you'll be paid for it. You have YouTube personality also. That's another opportunity. YouTube is also a popular platform for entrepreneurs. You can start your own channel, earn revenue through advertising shares as you gain followers and views. Yeah, you make money from that also. You have podcast podcaster. Maybe you are you are you are more inclined to create audio content. You can start your own podcast and then earn money through it. Advertisement is there and the rest. You have bloggers. Bloggers, cake, in fact, the list is endless, cake decorators, car washing services. So just sitting down, I do. You can get you can start a creative business or you can start a mobile car washing service where you visit clients and wash their cars and you get paid for it. We have house cleaners, we have laundry services. You are good at washing, you can wash. That's something in you. You can make profit from it. Errand services. Because of time, I'm trying to just we have um, computer setup service. So many people, you can start a business that's specifically geared towards helping people who recently um, bought new computers. Help me to set it up. That is it. We have technology tutor. You can focus more on teaching clients how to set up their device. We have online um, graphic design. There's money in graphic design. In fact, because graphic is something that we need every time. Businesses, churches, they need graphics. You need design. So you are good at it. Develop yourself in it. Build followers, and you see that you start making income. We have um, web designers. Yes, people need websites for their businesses. You can, if, you are, if, you are, if you are good at that, you can make profit from it. We have the um, e-commerce retailers. Yeah, you can make money from that also. You can get products. You can order products um, from China. We have the mini importation. And you sell it here in your country. Like in Nigeria, you can order from China, you can order from AliExpress, and many more platforms. And as you resell, you are making profit. So these are opportunities that youth can invest in. Even as a student, wherever you find yourself, you can do these things and you see that you make income. Another one I would like to add is, it, um, is this. Lastly, because my time is fast spent, investments. 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 Now, this is a platform. This is an opportunity we youth can venture into. So many people have, have a biased mind when they come to investment. When they hear investment, ah, MMM, they run. In fact, they pick, no. Investment, I was once like that. In fact, I was so, so biased. Anything called investment, I'm not interested in it. I don't want to hear anything about investment or hear about. But early this year, I went back, I sat down, I did research on it, I studied what it's all about, and I discovered that one of the secrets of wealth is investment. One of the secrets of the wealthy is investment. Yeah, Bill Gates, name them, they are all into investment. Don't go into investment out of greed. That's the mistake we use. Ah, in fact, they said, invest 1,000, you make 10,000 Naira in 40 hours. That is not an investment. So don't go there out of greed. Investment, it takes time to be like, everything takes time and it takes effort. It takes time, it takes effort. So there are various legit investments you can um, invest in. Time won't permit me now to go into that. But I would advise you study and research properly and understand any investment scheme before venturing into it. When you just go there out of pride, uh, your friend is doing it, you just jump into it. No. Sit down, analyze, invest, know what is behind it before before investing into it. So that is it. Yeah, so that is something that we youth can learn from. So lastly, as I round up, I'll be reading from Genesis chapter one. 
Let's check for 1 verse 28. Yeah, Genesis 1 28. There's a secret to wealth that we must speak from that place. He said, and the Lord blessed them and he said, be fruitful. Say, multiply. Replenish the head, subdue it, and have dominion. Let me take it again. He said, number one, be fruitful. God is saying, produce something. There is something in you. Bring it out. Produce something. Be fruitful. Number two, multiply. You produce what you produce. You've produced something very good. Multiply. Reproduce it in their numbers. Number three, replenish. Distribute it. Take it out to the market. Distribute it. And number four, subdue. Dominate the area of your gifting. Subdue, dominate the area of your gifting. Become a become an become an authority in your field. Yeah, become an authority in your field. Become if you are into tailoring, be the best. Whatever you find yourself, whatever you are into, no matter how little, if it is even shoemaking, be the best, be a specialist. And don't just um do something because everybody is doing that I said earlier. Okay, for example, now you can take an area to specialize in. For example, you are into tailoring, you can decide to specialize in tailoring for children. That is an area of specialty. You develop yourself in that. And you see that the more value you get, the more value you add to yourself, the more income that is coming to you. So value equal income. Value equal income. Once again, if I round up, I will say this. There is a gift in you. And that gift will make room for you. It will bring you before great men. It will bring you before kings. There are ideas in you. Are, ideas are coming. You are just um, jettisoning it. You are just um, putting it, pushing it aside. No. Refine those ideas. Refine those gifts. And you see that income. You will make income. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Collins. Thank you, Mr. Samuel. Thank you, Mr. Samuel. Guys, I hope you are written as you know, you, you, you took note of a whole lot of things you were saying. I, I got a whole lot of value. You said some very profound things, you know, beyond the skills and the opportunities you made mention of. We said some very, very profound things. Life is not only about making money, it's about making meaning, you know? The secret to lasting wealth is being able to give up value. You know, he said money, money is the outcome of value. So you don't expect to make money when you don't have anything to offer. Right? The, the, uh, so before I just move on to um, the question and answer se segment, or the part where I'm going to, you know, add a few things. I just want to talk about writing because that is the area I am really, like I am concentrated on right now. If you ask me right now, like today, what is it that you do very well? I'll tell you I write very well and I speak very well. So, and I know he does say the fact that he has two books, and so you would already know. So I'm just going to add a few things to writing. There are two basic things that are important in the life of a writer, two basic things. Is either you're being paid, right, for what you're, you're you know, you're being given, you're, you're giving out rather, or you get social proof. It's either you're being paid or you're getting social proof. So being paid is that maybe you're giving contracts and then you're giving, giving opportunities to write for people and then as you write, they're paying you. Now, but if, if nobody knows you yet, the thing about writing is they want to give the job to somebody they know. Right? Yes. Don't feel the yeah, sure. yeah, so if if you know you've started out as a writer, the first thing you have to do is get the following the establish an online presence. An online presence. So which of these um, social media platforms are you using? Is it Facebook? Is it Instagram? Is it LinkedIn? Or uh, as a content writer, do you have an account with Medium or with Fiverr? Right? You have to be somewhere and you have to, you know, cons consistently post value on a part particular social media platform so that um, recently, like, okay, let me share this story before I move on. Recently, I was contacted by a particular organization and they asked me about, um, one of the things they asked me to provide was a link to any social media platform where my content can be readily access, uh, accessed, right? So as a content writer, as a content creator, you have to have a link to a particular you know, social media platform where your content can be readily accessed. Content that, you know, are very, very powerful. So if it's Facebook, make sure that your Facebook, you know, is, is content fast. It's not yes. like you said, post, just post pictures and then move away. Wow. Right? It's fast and everything. So that's, that's the first thing you do as a content creator. You have that account 
whether it's in media, in Facebook, or LinkedIn, Instagram, Twitter, the way your value can be accessed, right? Well, you can very that people at what you do because if you say you're a very good writer, somebody will want to see and check, you know, the things you've written. So I said there are two very, um, two very key things in the, in the life of a writer. The two things writers pursue: um, money and social, social proof. So if you're not getting paid, like I said, if nobody knows you, then it will be hard, um, frankly speaking, for people to give you jobs. So what, what, what you do in situations like that as a writer, when nobody's giving you a job, is to you know volunteer for organizations, volunteer yeah. organizations in return for social proof. So volunteer um, your services, your writing services to organizations, to online communities, right? Um, you can volunteer to be a, a moderator of a community or any organization, right? And then the, the, the agreement is that they shouldn't pay you, but that they should give you, you know, testimonies, they should give testimonies of, you know, how good your work is. So maybe by the time you're leaving, they can give you a testimony in a designed, in a designed, um, uh, in, in, this maybe design hard copy uh, or maybe an online soft copy testimonial, that kind of thing, so that you can have it really handy, right? So you volunteer for, for organizations, um, they like to be on shortly, apologies, please. You know, this is where we are. So, um, <laughs> all right, so, um, yeah, so uh, ensure that you have uh, either of those two things readily available, um, your link, link to your social media platform, and then if nobody's you know giving you jobs, ensure that you are getting social proof testimonies for your work. And the next thing I want to talk about on the writing is you know you could write a book too. You could write a book to teach a particular skill, like he said, write a book to teach a particular skill. Then here's the secret I want you to learn. You know, it is not everybody who whose first book becomes an instant hit. Is that yeah. who's first book an instant hit? In fact, you can write your first book and decide that you're going to pay the price at 2,000 naira, and then nobody shows up. In fact, they show up and then they say, ah, I don't yeah. want to move And then they move you. That can I'm be very, that. Yeah, can be very disheartening and discouraging. Now, but one way to do that is the first book you're writing, it doesn't matter how many pages they are. I know, Adrian, they will share the story of how our first book, you know, was just 19 pages. Was 19 pages, her first book. I know some of you, you're very value packed, and your first book may not be 19 pages, maybe more than that. So, but the thing now is let your first book be your lead magnet. So, you make your first book free, and then you launch it so that people can come and see the kind of value that is oozing out of you. So, by the time, yeah, the next time you're launching your next book, or you're talking about something you're going to do, people are coming and are willing to pay because they've tasted of what you have. They've tasted of what you have. It is. It, it feels incredible when somebody says, um, "Pay for this product, pay for this particular commodity, or pay for my writing services." And the person can look back and see, "Okay, what have I actually even benefited for, from this person?" Yeah, because I, I do it. So I don't know if you do it. If you're going to be buying, you know, buying a product from somebody, it's you're you're taking money out of your pocket for let's say. Yeah. So you have, you're you're going to consider, "Am I? What have I actually even learned from this person?" Imagine if Jonah Bidi tells you to, you know, Jonah Bidi tells you to buy something. Something new is going to transform your life. And you're, you're, you're trying to think of, you won't think why to remember how valuable he has been to you free, you know. So be willing to make your first work, your first book, you know, free and all that. And then don't be scared to volunteer. Don't be scared to volunteer. Don't be scared to take up internship opportunities where they're not paying you. That kind of thing is really very important. Right? So you talked about a whole, you mentioned a whole lot of opportunities and, uh, another one I like to add is the honey business. Honey business, mm -hmm. yeah. So you can, you can you know venture into honey making. You can you can either buy it as well as a retailer, or you can start your own honey farm. I know that for most youths, when we hear the word farm, you know, mm -hmm. it brings a very very terrible belly in our heads. We don't want to have anything to do with uh, the farm and that kind of thing. But it's it's incredible the kind of returns you can make from it. And again. If you're going to be starting that kind of business, the value, the, the monetary value will not come in immediately. So patience again, that's what we started talking. So that this program talking about patience. There's a local government in Adamawa State called Ganye. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. G-A-N-Y-E. Um they 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 have honey honey in abundance because that you know their their boundary is closed with Cameroon, right? So if you want to get the price of honey, you can you know make 
um, contacts to people who live around that area and get them to supply you so that you sell them here, you sell them where you are. You can also get money from Kaduna and Abuja. Now, speaking of speaking of um, um, selling where you are, there are five P's, five P's of marketing. For those of us who did marketing in school or are doing marketing in school, you must have heard this place, people, promotion, product, price. The five P's of marketing. We're going to talk about that shortly as we take on the questions and answers. Now, for a few things I noted here is um, it's with regard to the first P, place. With regard to the first P, whatever business you want to start, you have to consider where you are, where you are. Right? What is the problem? Like I said, what is the problem that is, you know, um, like uh, predominant where you are? What problem is, is everybody, what is everybody talking about? So whatever business idea you come up with, you have to be sure that it is a solution to a particular problem because nobody is going to pay for something they already have. Oh, nobody is going to be able to, to, to give up money for something they already have. I'm not going to pay to teach me what I already know. It doesn't work like that. I'm not going to, you know, pay you to, you know, sell something to me, sell something to me I already have. So if you're going to be selling something new, it will be something people could. So understand these three things. Understand these three things. First, before you start selling in a particular area, right, understand what the people in that area don't have, don't know what will accept if they see. So the first one is understand what they don't have, what they don't know, but will accept if oh, they see. Yeah. They see. Yeah, they don't. They don't know that if you know this kind of thing, and they don't have it, right? But if they see, they will immediately accept it and move on. The only way to do this is by running to take the product into the market and to put people on its benefits. If you see some people doing um, how do they call it? All the marketing, right? Brands, and then they show them their products to the um. To the people, right? The main company, the customer company was marketing, marketing their brand of, you know, um, um, milk. Yeah. And they gave you free, free cups to taste, right? So, do you like the taste? I heard that the questions they were asking, do you, do you like the taste of this? You want, is that something you would like us to add? That's one way to make to to, to check if people accept the product. No, yeah, the second thing is to understand, uh, understand what the people in that area have, yeah. but not in adequate. Yeah. What the people in that area yeah. have, but not adequate for cotton. So they may have this thing, but it may not be enough. Like the honey we are talking about, it's probably that in some areas, like it's in abundance in Adamawa. It doesn't mean that it, it, it will be in yeah, abundance yeah. or in Lagos. Yeah. Or yeah, so understand what the people have but not in a bond. That is very important to you know which business you're going to start. The last is understand what they don't have but are constantly talking about. What they don't have but are constantly talking about. What they don't have but are constantly talking about. Imagine if somebody brings up the, the idea of you know how to have light without um, putting on your generator or you know how to drive a car without without fuel. That's what you know, great something as unique as that. Fans with fans that are rechargeable. You know, so you start with somebody's idea. Oh, what if I have a fan that, that I can charge? You know, I know you have the number. When they say that the fan will look to keep, you know, to keep, you know, emitting air, that kind of thing. Idea. That is something we should take note of. So, so, so the questions and answers, question, Mr. Samuel, thank you so much um, for this event. So the questions and answers, question, we understand. Uh, um, uh, let's let's start with, with price. Let's start with price. Okay. So we understand that making out those products are really, really incredible. For example, if you're you know talking about writing it. And all that, and then maybe second book, and you want to peg it at a particular price. I will know your heart that this book is valuable, it is very valuable. And if you peg the price at 5,000, unless people will not buy it, just if yeah, you look at it, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. how what, what, what am I the price is for, you know, for the business ideas we, we can be, um, we, we will take up from this evening. Is there a particular, um, 
there's something you should take note of in order to be able to determine the prices. Okay. Yeah, okay. Um, I would say that when it comes to pricing, you must understand that when you are just starting, let me just say that when you are just starting, you're just coming, you are not known, as I said earlier. People don't trust you. And you, when, you, when they don't trust you, they don't, they can't invest and they can't give you their money. They want people want value for money. Yeah. And they are not sure of your value. You might be a very good writer. You might be, you might, if I have everything, but when you when you present your first, let me use that, your first product or your first book or your first thing, in a very with a very high price, they will not they will not even look at your direction. But there's prices that people can do away with. Now let me yeah. give an example. When I was, I told you I produced touch lights. Well, I was, yeah, well, I, was, I made profit from that. I made the price of touch light very cheap and affordable. Although the touch light was very, very strong. It has a lot of things in it. But if I call, call it, let me say 2,000 Naira, definitely you won't pay for it. Like, what can this, what 2,000 Naira? No. But I made it, it was not um, 250 Naira. Yeah. Someone can easily, 200 Naira, yeah. Someone can easily do it with 200 Naira. Yeah, it's... And I'm talking of 1,000 there. It was what about about 500 to 1,000, but I made it to 200 then, testing the market. And people yeah. started calling me. I was increasing my price gradually. Yeah. That is something that, about pricing. That, that, that is a credible business idea. You know, there's, there's this, um, when, when I was you know, a little younger, I observed that when, you know, new, bis new biscuits are introduced into the market, new biscuits, you know, the price would be very low. But it was the time this biscuits would be sold, five naira. And then, you know, because it's very, very cheap, you want to go for it, so you immediately jump on it and start consuming it, consuming it. Later, you come and like say, yeah, right? Okay, and then, yeah. oh, the value price is like, okay, you continue buying right. it. And then, and yes, then, come again, it's 20 naira. Or 20 naira. Then it keeps increasing like that. So when you're pegging your price as a newbie, as a former, create a lot, make sure you have value. Make sure it is, what you're giving out is value. It's value okay. fact. And yeah. Make, the try, try to ensure that the pricing is, is is such that people you know people can you know purchase it. Those who are going to be, in fact, what your concern should be it should not even majorly be about the pricing. But let let your first customers spread the word about your business. Let your first customers be the ones that will spread the word about what you do. So if you're a writer, right, do not be, be really concerned about the money, but. The, but by the you know be concerned with the testimonies that will be given of you know how yes. valuable your, your write ups are. So be concerned with the testimonies, not necessarily the money, because your first customers will either be the ones that will spread the word about how good you are, or will spread the word about how terrible the mistake you made was, you know, in getting to get that product of yours, right? So let your value you know be seen in you know whatever you're whatever you're doing if it's a write-up let it be full of value if it's a product let it solve a problem and then let the pricing be such that people can take it so they'll be like ah the price is low I and mean, it's very good though and they'll you know keep talking about it they keep talking about it so that being said that the the, the next question next question now will be okay Trying to to you know to look at that very key area, the now we we think talking about gifts, you know, gifts making room for us and our gifts being the you know the, the source of our gifts being what to make room for us. You know, if I can say that, now, it's possible. It's very very possible that. When we wake up in the morning, we are thinking, "What gifts exactly do I have? You know, what gifts exactly?" Because when you say, "Ah, I can speak," and then you, you come online and you see what people who are feeling very low, and they are getting a whole lot of you know attention from how good they are and all that, and then you say you can write, and you come online and you are seeing that proof, and you're like, "Oh my God, I've never started." I've never started. <laughs> you're wondering, um, what gifts? Uh, you have exactly what advice can you, you know, profess to you know, those of us out there who have you know, discovered um, some of these one or two? Okay. Um, first thing, you understand that there is something unique about everyone. Everyone has a gift. Mm -hmm. No one was born without gift or without something you can do. 
Yeah. So we need to first of all, I wrote in Divine Navigator, yeah, step to discovering and fulfilling your divine purpose. We have the scientific approach to discovering your purpose, and we have this um, spiritual approach. Yeah, both of them are very important and they are very key, and they work hand in hand. You cannot just depend on one. Now, let me first quickly talk about that's some question you need to ask yourself. Number one, what do you love doing above all else? Yeah, there's something you love doing. I told you I love electronics from small. In fact, I scatter system and I was growing up at home, destroyed the radio. I won't be able to fix it back. That was, I, my passion was electronics. I know that that is where I'm going. See me, whenever I see anything electronics, I also know what is inside. That is number one. Ask yourself, what do you love doing above all else? That is one. Number two, what grieves you the most? What grieves you the most? If there's something that you see that you become hungry about, it pains you that, oh my, why is it like this? What gives you the most? That could be a signal to what you are called to address. Number three, what do you do far better than others? What do you do far better than others? This is a question you should ask yourself. You could be maybe in school, you're writing um, secondary, um, secondary school, you have to write composition or write an essay. But you're always the best in writing, yeah. For your teachers and everybody, your classmates, they're all running to you. When you come to that aspect, ah, they will say, leave it for leave it for somewhere, leave it for John. That is something. What do you do better than others? Number four, is there any consistent compliment you receive from people around you? Yes. What is that consistent thing people are saying about you? Mr. A is saying this about you. Mr. B is saying this about you. Ah, when you come to this guy, he's good at this. Ah, when you come to this guy, he's good at this. What are they saying about you? Consistently, that is number four. That is the key to discovering that purpose in you. And those are the questions you need to ask yourself. Ponder on them. Mm -hmm. Let me repeat it. Number one, what do I love doing above all else? Number two, what grieves me the most? Number three, what do I do far better than others? Number four, is there any consistent compliment I receive from people around me? Those four questions are keys to unlocking the gift in you. So if you can sit down and I like that, something will come out. Thank you very much, sir. Wow, that's, that's really incredible. You know, that's one of the keys to discovering your your gifts and all that. You can't you can't um, ignore those signs. But now there is another thing, another thing, the passion and the thing. Those are two very important things. Yes. Passion and the people that work in the law school is not bringing him on, right at the time. Yeah. And, Last week I talked about um, capacity for and capability traps rather, and I said in the point where there is the pressure to you know get immediate results, which leads to increased um, effort. So you want to get immediate results, and so you're engaging in activities that are just existential. That is activities that are just for the now. Activities that will not help you ultimately become the person you want to be. And all of this is really connected. All of this is really connected. Because if you are only engaging in an activity because you want to make um, quick money right now, or it's not ultimately about who you want to be, right? It is just going to be sapping your energy. I remember when I wanted to start when I wanted to start this um, live show. The first um, question I, I I asked my brother was about the name and everything about the name and then the purpose because when the purpose of what you want to be is is not clearly identified fatigue is very possible in fact it will come yeah. before you right so if you're starting out a particular course or you're, you're, you're pursuing a particular goal or a particular vision if you've not clearly identified it, if it's not clear enough what you want to achieve fatigue is is imminent in fact you will meet it at an uncommon hour so one of the first questions was what's the, what's going to be the purpose and the direction this show is going to take even after some time, about like two months, I went on a break, you know, because the way the vision was coming was even becoming more. So I had to settle down and set up some structures, right? So yeah. you, you have to be, be very, very clear about, um, about what it is you want to do and how it's going to, you know, ultimately make you the person you want to be, right? If, if you're going to engage in, in any activity now, you're going to take up a job, you, you might want to ask yourself, what is this adding to me beyond the money this pain? What is it adding to me, right? So if I am writing, if I am putting, if I am you know delivering content for free, whatever I am doing, how is this 
making me better in the future? How is it you know, preparing me for the future? How is this positioning me for the future? Right? If you're writing a book, you know that sometime in the future, when you know everything would have started working, it would make reference to your past. You started well, in fact, somebody can easily predict how you're going to be in the future, right? From how you are acting you know, right in the Right. So you, you have no business, you know, you know, working in, uh, working in, uh, let's say, um, uh, in in a farm when your dream is basically to be an maybe an electronics guru, right? Uh, what are you doing? It doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't connect, right? So if you're working in a farm to get money, you should not spend time there, because the more time you spend, the more the more likely it is that you forget the thing. Yes. Forget the thing right? So that, that, that's basically it for, for, um, for that um, passion. And if, if what you love doing is not paying you, then you have to find something else. Yes. Something else. Yeah, because I, I don't know if you've been in a position as a youth where you talk about the fact that you have to pay to get something, or you have to pay to get a course, or you have to pay to get a particular product, and then they're calling us low at 4,000. And then you go out. It is, it can be very, very painful. I don't know how you would feel, if you would, if you would feel normal in that situation, but you know, it is really very painful. So don't be in a position where you cannot earn. Let money always be in your hand. Let money always be in your hand. You, you never can tell when there will be emergencies or maybe an emergency for you to get something, for you, for you to go somewhere and earn that. You don't have transport. So things happen like that. You have to go for an interview and then there's no transport. And there's nobody for you to ask for that kind of thing. So, so take note of all these opportunities, opportunities that you can mention, you know, writing, speaking, um, um, private coaching tutorials, and uh, so please give us a rundown of all those. Of, of I, think I talked about the graphic design, social media influencer, YouTube personality, a podcaster, a blogger, a cake decorator, car washing services, laundry services, errand services, um, computer setup service, technology tutor, and I talk about the graphic uh, graphic designer, web designer, uh, um, importation. Talk about importation, retailer, selling and selling, and many more. So, I guess it's a proofreader. Yeah, you are good at you are good at reading. In fact, I needed this when I was writing my book. I need someone to proofread. So you are there. You are you studied English and literature, and you are good. So yeah, a proofreader. You can make money from that. Editing and proofreading services. Yeah, okay. so yeah, we're going to be, the list is endless. We're going to be wrapping up now. Thank you so much, Mr. Samuel. I really, really appreciate the fact that you could take our time to spread us on the show today. So, um, like we said, Mr. Samuel is a graduate and he's an author of two books, Love and Missed, um, Lost. Yeah. yeah, and then the second one is Divine Navigator. If you want to get those books, um, you know, drop a comment. And we will, you know, I'll meet you up and then, you know, I'll get you in, in contact with Mr. Samuel so you can get the book. It's going to change your life. And if you want to also get my book, Coins of Advantage, everything you should know in order to excel in these desperate times, it's free, absolutely free. And um, it's, I've received a whole lot of reviews about that book, Coins of Advantage, already. and this is not me trying to sound as if I am posting. It is going to shift your mindset. It is it, when you start reading the book, you'll be hooked. That's just the way it is, because I use the language that you all can understand. It's absolutely free. So if you want to get it, I will reach out to you. Thank you so much, Mr. Samuel. Really Thank you so much, sir. All right, guys. So we're going to be closing right about now. But before I do that, um, quick announcements. Quick announcements. Next week, we're going to be talking about something that is related to um, also related to this topic. And we're going to be bringing somebody else on the show who's going to be bringing in another dimension of expertise. Remember that on the Youth Fully Show, we're basically um, about giving out secret solutions and strategies you can adopt to accelerate your way to the future of your dreams. The key word there is accelerate. So we believe that you don't have to be 40 before you make your first million, and you do not have to wait till you're 50 before you, know, you get a house or you know, all that. 
you can be established early. In fact, the Bible talks about being established early. You can be established early. You can meet success at uncommon hours if you learn the secrets. If you learn the secrets and then you practice them. So that, that's why we have mentors, right? That's why we have mentors. That's why we have teachers. That's why we have coaches. So that they give you those one, two, three steps, one, two, three guidelines. And you, you know, make certain decisions, take certain steps, and then before you know it, you're achieving their results. You're achieving their results, you know, without um, without all the mistakes they made and all that. Yeah. So um, before I go, don't forget next week, 5 p.m., the same time, uh, we're going to be having another guest. Uh, if there's anything you should take away from this show today, is the fact that uh, influence, impacts, and income are not instant realities. Influence, impact, and income are not instant realities. Do not let your fantasies make you skip your process. You know, it's our fantasies can be very, very vivid and very, very beautiful. Don't make it, you know, don't, don't allow it to make you skip your process. Don't allow it to make you think that your processes are too difficult and all that. Because once you start thinking that the process is too difficult, you would close your eyes subconsciously to certain opportunities that present themselves, right? Right. That's it for today on the Usefully Show. And so we come your way next time. My name is Sylvian Collins, and it's been an exciting time with you here. Thank you very much. See you next week. Jesus told us to remember and give to the needy in our societies. It is the period of time again when Abiding TV initiatives reaches out to the aged that are indigent and give them food items for the celebration of Christmas and New Year. This initiative is tagged Operation Feed the Widows and Widowers Edition 2. In the first edition, we were able to reach out to almost 300 widows and widowers above the age of 60. And now we're trusting God to surpass that record in the month of December this year, 2020. In the light of this, we are seeking for voluntary donation to help us put smiles in the faces of these aged widows and widowers. May the Lord bless you in great proportions in the name of Jesus as you help us to be a blessing to these people. God bless you. Shout out to Abiding TV. That is amazing. Uh, I'm sorry, I should have um, let you know that um, advert was going to be coming up, that short video clip. Shout out to Abiding TV. Abiding TV is doing amazing. It's helping out youths. And 20 December, um, it's going to be amazing. Uh, if you want to send your donations, please you know, drop a comment and we'll reach out to you. Reach out to you. It, it doesn't have to be much. Anything little you can give you know, to support the movement will be accepted. Remember, it is lives we are transforming. It is lives we are changing. It is lives we are helping. And being a part of it, there is no greater joy than that. So see you next week. Thank you very, very much.